Hi guys, Squid here. Welcome to another episode of Big Ambitions. So we've started our first kind of store. We've got people working there. We're open 18 hours a day. All's going well, except a couple of things. Satisfaction's not good. Uh, so customer service, this is not really something that we can bump up massively until we train our staff and we can't train them yet. Uh, the interior, we can definitely do something about. So we'll do some decoration today, get that interior spruced up. The cleanliness is not looking good. So we'll go to the shop now, do some cleaning, and then we'll hire a cleaner as well and then we want to do some marketing to try and get our promotion up try and boost our sales and then we'll need to check on on the stock situation so the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to call the recruitment company uh cleaning right don't really care a couple of cvs should do it we're just well actually three we're after a part-time cleaner uh, is what we need we're not desperate so we'll just throttle it down a little bit so we're not paying quite as much for it We'll have to wait a bit longer. Right, uh, let's stop at the shop and see if we can do a bit of cleaning because we know one employee is a little bit sensitive to cleaning. And then we're going to go up to the marketing agency and see if we can hit this town with a leaflet campaign for booze and smokes. Oh, thank you for that. That actually helped me park it. Don't mind me, pal. I'm just trying to park in this little spot here. Yeah. You say it says illegal, then it says legal $8. Sometimes it's free, sometimes it's legal. It depends on the district you're in. Uh, because this district uh, charges for parking, you'll see at the end of the day how much you've been charged for parking. However, that is a tax deductible expense. Did I mention tax? Oh yeah, there's tax in this game. Right, so because we don't have a cleaner cleaning up, we we'll click on this and then we have a, you see this? Yeah, it's like a cleaning view, like a germ view. I need to go around cleaning it. You can see it was quite horrible. That's literally after two days. I literally cleaned this up, what, on Tuesday, I think it was? It doesn't take long to get messed up. Oh, you've boxed me in. Come on, move. Move, pal, move. You're literally going to stay there and troll me, aren't you? Okay, that's an interesting move. Okay, recruitment agency is just up the road and then to the left, I think. Also, if you look at the state of our vehicle, we're a bit low on fuel, we're a bit low on repairs. So we're going to have to go to the garage as well. Right, again, now we've visited this person, we'll be able to call them later. So booze and smokes, we are after a small internet campaign, $100 per day. Yes, that's a small campaign, $100 per day. Let's see what they can do for us. That should give us some promotional traffic. Hopefully we can recoup that back in sales. Now, if we go to the maps and have a look where we are there is a garage there so just straight down the road two blocks then to the right on fifth street so fifth avenue i should say it is an overhead the more crashing you do the more bashing into things you do the more it's going to cost you but i'm too impatient to be stopping at red lights i'd rather do this <laughs> live life on the edge so you go here to get fuel that's 38 dollars that's quite cheap this is probably going to be a few hundred 384 and that's the car fully repaired cool i'm going to grab some more wine and then we're going to hit up the school and get that training done because that's going to unlock the next stuff that's the major unlock that one because it unlocks the ability to get logistics staff hr staff purchasing staff a warehouse to directly import things like whoa ultimately um at the moment, we're buying everything from the wholesaler, which is fine. We can make a profit in retail by buying and selling from the wholesaler. But the real money is to be had when you directly import things. So you need a purchasing contract. You directly import down at the docks. But for that, you need to buy in bulk, which basically means you need a warehouse and you need a driver. And there's quite a bit of overhead in it. So you do need a capital investment at that point. And also you need to work out what you're buying and selling. Because if you need a lot of stock, you also need a lot of shelves. And these big shelves here that you put in your own warehouse, they're like $2,800 each per shelf. So the amount of capital you need to operate a warehouse is not insignificant. So you can't jump the gun too early. We need to build up our cash reserves a little bit. Then we'll need a loan and then we'll be able to start importing. And at that point, our profits will jump because the margin is so much bigger. So just give that a final quick clean while we're here. Um, however, we need to get some decoration done. We want to boost our customer satisfaction, shall we say. So we want to replace the floor first. So we click on interior designer and then we can basically choose between the wall and the floor. So we're going to get something on the floor. We don't want to go too expensive. We could go for a classic wooden floor. We can choose the color. Nice ash gray, maybe. How does that look? 
This is not cheap, by the way. Look at that, $1,750. But it looks pretty good. Now, can we combine that with a decent wall cover? Something with a little bit... Maybe we'll have, like, a feature wall. So how about we go for... Is that too grey? Oh, that's quite nice, actually. A nice stone wall down that side. That looks pretty good. And then perhaps we could go with a splash of colour. Something like that. There you go, 1300. So that should help when they walk in. And also, see these lights here? You can actually move them around if you want to. So, for example, you know, you could pick that up and move it over here. You can rotate it uh, if you think it will help. You can buy more if you go down to IKEA. You know, you can change the lights and change the mood. Don't think that particularly affects the customers, but it's just mostly for your own personal sort of satisfaction, if you like getting your shop looking how you want it to. They're not complaining about the interior now, but they will complain about the lack of music. I don't know why they want music. To me, it seems like if you've got a department store, if you're selling fashion, put some music on. If you're selling wines and cigarettes or whatever, does it really matter? But it doesn't the game. Anyway, we need to wait a day for that to kick in. We haven't got time to go, on, to, go to school today and get some training. So we'll leave it for today and go down here and uh, we'll have a sleep and maybe hit up the school in the morning. Right, into school. I've already done one lot of training. We're going to go for another. We have 14 hours left, so we'll smash that all the way through to the max. Ooh, insufficient energy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Drinks fridge. No, we can't do that. We're in danger of collapse. We've been working far too hard. We may end up getting taken to hospital if we're not careful. There is a fruit and veg thing here. We can certainly solve the uh, the food problem quickly. We definitely... Just, <laughs> I really pushed it too much, didn't I? Let's, let's see what uh, Tony thinks about having three tomatoes. And can he drive home <laughs> without crashing? <laughs> okay, food solved. Don't pass out, Tony. Come on, mate. If I could find a coffee shop. Actually, coffee shops close really early. We definitely hit up that school too long. I wonder what happens if you pass out while driving. Come on, Tony, mate. You can do it. Phew. That was a long day. Okay, look at that profit. 70. That shot up. That absolutely shot up. And that's what that marketing did for us. We was doing 1,000 a day, 1,100 today, 1,100 a day. Boom, 1,900. And that was the double combo of doing some marketing and actually decorating the interior. So our profit just jumped hugely, almost doubled, in fact. And hopefully, <laughs> the marketing is having some effect, 27%. And customer satisfaction is hopefully going up. They like the interior more. The cleanliness is still a problem. Uh, we're still waiting for CVs to come through. We did give them a, a few days to send them through, but I kind of hoped we'd have got lucky by now and got a CV. But as it stands, we're going to have to firstly go up there, clean the office, and then secondly, finish off that business school training. And then we're pretty nicely set up. Good profit. Reach at least 100 customers per day for one business day. There you go. It's not bad. It's more or less maxing things out, isn't it? Right, let's see if we can finish off this training. Fundamentals of business admin. We have one and a half hours left. And we should. Boom. Okay, now nothing immediately happens. It doesn't go congratulations or anything. But what that's done is it's unlocked the ability to... Obviously, it's early access. It's 0.2. So that will be fleshed out probably a lot more than it currently is. But effectively, from our point of view, that's unlocked the ability to do everything that we need to do now. We can, we can now crack on and become a big shot CEO, which is what we're trying to do. Now, I know it's not essential, but I kind of feel like we should um, do something with our place here. Uh, it's we, we need a sofa. We could do with... Um, we can get a pull-up bar, get some exercise done. We could perhaps go and buy ourselves a nice gaming PC. Let's do that. Let's treat ourselves with our success, our money. Let's treat ourselves to a, an IKEA gaming computer. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be very good. I'm sure it'll have RTX enabled. All right, let's go shopping. Grab ourselves a flatbed. So, how about... Um, we don't want to splash out too much. Maybe just an armchair for now. How about that? An armchair, that's good. And a floor lamp. That keeps it cost effective. We could, in theory, put a kitchen in there, but there's no massive benefit to doing it just yet. Okay, we've got a CV through. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, cleaning 40% full-time critical. That's not good for us. There's just no way we can hire somebody and give them the hours they want. We don't need them to work that many hours. Uh, there's the pull-up bar. We could get a pull-up bar. But you see, I don't think he's really into um, exercise that much. 
There is a desktop computer here. There is a better one than that kicking around. I'm sure it's in here. It might only be in the um, the posh place. If we got ourselves a loudspeaker, we could put that in the shop. And that would give people some background music to listen to. I think for now we'll just get a computer, a multi-purpose chair, and a standard office desk. That's going to cost four grand. That's quite enough spending for an entrepreneur, you know? We can't uh, afford to splash out too much. Got to keep the cost down. Handbrake turn into your parking spot. That's the dream. Oh, one of these days I'll get that right. Sadly, we don't have a trolley inside of our house, so we'll have to do this one at a time. But I'm thinking if we do a nice little gaming through the window there. Okay, another CV. Uh, Part-time is critical. 45% cleaning. You, sir, Mr. Ivan, you're hired. Right, so the only thing we need to do is manage the schedule. Uh, so there's a cleaning station. If you haven't put a cleaning station in your business, you need to, otherwise you can't schedule them in any way so we could get ivan to come in um before the start of work or halfway through you know what i mean to so keep the shop looking chipper so before we actually start we could do like an hour's cleaning there an hour's there maybe that's one way of doing it there's no right way of doing it really that gives them four hours um they were looking for 10 to 30 hours i think it was now i'm fairly sure that you could just get away with you know one hour slots but i you know this is a philosophical thing it feels more reasonable to me to give them a two hour cleaning window to get the job done it's i'm obviously costing me more money so but it just feels right now we need to be careful of our stock get a little bit low on the wine so we're gonna have to go over there at some point and sort that out we can take the computer we can put that in there and what that does is if you click on it it basically gives them a different happiness buff now this buff if we just play it quickly i'll show you what i mean this buff is a separate buff to watching tv so they kind of stack up so if you watch tv for an hour and then play video games for an hour you'll get a different buff and we'll help keep this up here because if he gets too sad uh he'll more or less have a mini breakdown and he refuse to eat and work and yeah it's not good well, the cv has come through now we probably need something where you can watch some tv in relative comfort so you can perhaps do it like that that'll do it Another CV, let's have a look. 49% part-time critical. <gasps> and much, much younger and a better cleaner. Oh, man. You see, I'd love to swap them out, but it would mean going through the scheduling screen for an extra 4% clean, and I can't be bothered. Let's get the pull-up bar. Now, the pull-up bar is interesting because if you can actually get it to sit on the wall... There you go. You click on it. Now it says you need to be wearing sports clothes. So you need to go to your wardrobe and get changed before you can use that. But Tony's the kind of guy that has a pull-up bar but doesn't use it. You know what I mean? He, like, he likes to give the impression that it's like having a gym membership but never going. That's Tony. Put it over there. That was that. Lovely. Got to keep our place looking nice. We could interior decorate it as well, but it's just more money we don't need to spend at this moment in time. Okay, and the speaker, we're going to put in the shop, and that will just give customers another little boost to their happiness. Okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> in my head, I wanted it to work out a certain way, but it didn't work out that way. I saw myself handbraking into that spot in front of that car, not handbraking into the car. Right, now it doesn't really matter where you put these, but as long as you have one. Now I have music turned off because uh, you know, YouTube, etc., copyright, blah, blah, blah. But you can toggle the radio and you'll basically hear the radio if you have it turned on. That is music for them. Good. I think we're in a pretty decent place now. We just need to work a few more days and make some more money and then we shall make our next move. But I think we've done enough for one video. We've got the shop sorted. It's looking good. Customer satisfaction is up. The revenue is up. We've got our own pad looking a little bit nicer. And we've completed the school, which has unlocked pretty much everything that we need. Uh, so that seems like a good place to stop. I hope you're enjoying this. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Until the next one, take care, guys. Happy simming.